Thanks for joining us on this first alert weather day heading into your Thursday. We have some very well dangerous, downright dangerous weather for travelers. If you don't have to travel, just stay put. And even in areas here that are not in any of the well, wintry weather advisories uh, like the blizzard warning from Highway 200 point south or the winter storm warning and winter weather advisories. We have cold weather to worry about elsewhere and we have winter uh, temperatures that will bring wind chill down to 50 below in the warning area here in pink and to about 35 to 40 below at times in northern parts of Minnesota. Here, there are no temperature advisories or warnings, but we will still have some very nasty wind chills in our area as well. If you must travel, make sure you have the Valley News Live weather app and a phone charger uh, with you wherever you go and a survival kit, super important out there as well. And again, keep in mind, you can get the latest on closures and delays and road conditions right on the Valley News Live weather app wherever you go. Right now we have some windy conditions at Hector. We have gusts over 30 miles per hour, four below, making it feel like 30 below here. It's cold. We have some of that fluffy snow that's been blowing around and keeping things quite slippery here in the valley. Quick look at roads. I-94, Bismarck, Fargo, red, that's closed. And then all the way down from Fargo to Sioux Falls, that's closed to purples here. No travel advisories for the eastern Dakotas and southwestern Minnesota. Impossible travel, life-threatening cold, and those power disruption potential, potentially an issue through the overnight hours and into your Thursday. Reduced visibility where the snow is really falling right now. And as we showed you earlier, our time lapse at the Dakota Magic Casino here in southern Richland County at the state line has been showing snowfall since 11 o'clock this morning in that area. Temperatures are coldest in Langdon. It's 13 below there, six below Grand Forks, zero Thief River Falls, and that zero degree line all the way to near Sisseton and that Lake Traverse area. Otherwise, we're five to 10 above across Minnesota. So check this out. Factor in the wind chills, 30 to 40 below at this hour. At times, we could dip down into that 50 below category. That means exposed flesh, your ears and hands, can freeze or frostbite sets in in five minutes or less. Again, survival kit a must. Check out the cutoff of the snow right here, southern parts of Clay County, uh, Stutzman County, that steel area out there in Kidder County seeing some, but the heavier batch of snow, Sisseton and Point South out towards Aberdeen through Marshall, Minnesota, St. Cloud, a very healthy band working its way in there as well as the Twin Cities where they're expecting some lofty snowfall totals. There's more snow on the heels of this down to the southwest as well. We're not done yet, even though the flakes haven't begun to fly. Now, if you joined us earlier, we said be where you want to be at six o'clock. That's when the snow really pushes into our southern counties. That's been true. We haven't seen flakes fly here, but our model hasn't said it isn't going to start until about 10 o'clock. Watch what we're expecting overnight, the potential for bands of snow. The darker blue is heavier. Most of the dark blues stay to our south, but we have a prolonged period of snow from the 10 o'clock hour right through midnight, 2 a.m. Our southern counties seeing snow. Northern counties, not so much. Nothing in Grand Forks through 2 a.m. Then after that, a chance for some light snow on Highway 2 and Point South is where things will be heavier, very heavy at 5 in the morning along that I-94 corridor right through the Twin Cities from Ottertail County, Grant County and Douglas County, Minnesota. The heavier band of snow continues as we go through the 7 o'clock hour. Gusty north winds over 40 miles per hour. And then as we head into the midday hour, it won't take long and this thing dries up and moves out, but the wind sticks around throughout the day and it looks brutally cold all day with wind chills. So heaviest snow, three to seven inches. Notice Fargo's pretty close at three to seven category. I think three to five is a good bet for us. Rapidly increasing dark blues, six inches plus. And the, well, the plus will be closer down to the purple here. We'll have that shot of near a foot near that Hankinson area. Southern parts of Otter Tail County could see some significant snow as well. We'll keep you posted, check with our team positioned in well, Southern Richland County and Ottertail County, right where we're expecting the worst of it. 30 to 50 below for wind chills in the morning with snow and wind continuing. In the afternoon, the snowfall will end, but the blowing will not end and the cold will be relentless. In fact, it'll be, well, face slapping cold on Friday. 21 below air temperature in Fargo, colder still up north. A nice moderation. Check this out, 11 day bonus coverage right there, Thursday through Sunday and temperatures closer to 30 degrees Friday through Sunday. Can't rule out a few flakes in the forecast, but nothing like we're seeing here in the next 24 hours for particularly our southern county. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but it's way out there. Yeah, also <laughs> just getting word from the Cass County Sheriff, Highway 10 between Mapleton, West Fargo closed. He says several vehicles stuck right now. 
uh, oh. trying to get around the closed interstate. Right. You know, those south. north winds, uh, they just go across those east-west oriented yeah. roads. Watch Thanks, out. Hutch.